Hello, everyone. Welcome to our today's session. So today I would want to take you through Excel and specifically I would want us to do the comparison of documents using VLOOKUP, VLOOKUP Excel function. So I have something to share with you here, right? So now here I've got two documents, two documents. I have got a first sheet here, which is a document of course showing the number of, uh, ID number of voters, voters name, the county they are in, the date they registered as a voter, very important. And then we have voters list two, voters list two, the same information. So we want really to compare and see whether the two lists have uh, identical, have identical voters, voters using the V lookup. So how do I do this? It's very easy. So the first thing that I see here is this fact that uh, like Anthony, I mean, I can't see this name in full. It's bigger than the cell, right? So I need to expand the cell sizes. So what I normally see people doing, you'll get somebody coming here trying to pull this. That's very wrong, right? What a good person will do here, if for example, we have got these cells overriding like this, overriding like that, what a good person will do, you will straight away come and highlight the entire worksheet which you could either do that by saying control A, or you come up here. If you're able to see my cursor, you come up here, right? And then you click like that. Once you do that, then take your cursor to any of these middle columns, like you know, middle column between A and B, middle column between B and C, anywhere. And then put your arrow in a way that you can see how it is changing. Once my arrow is like that, I'll be able to double click and then automatically all the cells now will be able to readjust themselves to accommodate all the words that uh, they have. So this is very important. Now, what do I want to do? I have voters list one, I have voters list two. So what I would want to do is to come and uh, basically have here a column where I'll capture my discrepancies, my discrepancies, where I'll capture my discrepancies, discrepancies like that. So then what I'll need to do straight away is to come here, is to come here, is to come here. What I'll need to do straight away is to come here as a gentleman and start my VLOOKUP. So of course I have to start with equals. So equals, we have VLOOKUP, already it's blue. It's popped up as blue. So what I need to do, I don't have to keep on writing it in full once it pops up in blue like that. What I need to do is to come and tab. So when I tab like this, my lookup value, I can work with the names, you know, but you know names, it's very easy for you to get. Like now, Anthony Juma, two of them, it's possible to get people share names. But now here we have a unique identifier. The unique identifier is the ID number. So I'll say I'm looking for a particular ID number, right? After that, this is the lookup value, then I should be able to come and say comma, table array. So the table array, I will go to the first table, the first list and uh, highlight the entire table, the one that I would want to do comparison. So I'll come here and then straight away, I'll highlight this entire table, control shift, right navigation key, down navigation key, I've been able to highlight the entire thing. And then now remember the moment you've highlighted this entire table, what do you do next? You need to lock this up. How do we lock this up? Using a four the dollar, using a for the dollar. After that, ladies and gentlemen, of course I know I'm following this formula. After the table array, the next thing is the column index. Remember the column we chose, the unique identifier, the ID. So in this case, I need to put a comma there and then I say column number one, comma. I'm following this, then we have the matches, right? Do I want an approximate match? I don't work with approximate matches. Yeah, I would want an exact match. So whenever you hear of these matches, Remember us, we are not so much concerned with the arrange. The very best is to pick false. You can write false there or you click on this false or, or somebody who knows Excel very well will come and just say zero like that. And then what you do, you close the bracket and then automatically you say enter. When you say enter, you can see the number has been brought here straight away, right? Meaning that Anthony Juma, Anthony Juma is available in both lists. When he's an ID number pops up here, his uh, name is available in both lists. And then of course, now you can come and do what here, you can come and uh, fill, 
this downwards. So to fill this downwards, the cheapest way is to come and put this cursor there, and then you double click. You double click like that, the thing goes down automatically. So what you are able to see is that uh, the first eight people are well within our list, but uh, Felix Oduor is not available in the first list. Pauline Wanji is not available in the first list. As an accountant, this is something that is so special, and I would want you to learn how to do this. And please don't forget to join RCM Online College. RCM Online College for your advanced Excel and any business and data analytics student. All of them have to join RCM Online College and they will not regret. We are very good in terms of our data analytics, in terms of advanced Excel. Of course, should you be willing to join us, please call our numbers 0719 525,000. 0719 525,000. Thank you and bye.